For six, we've we've invested a lot in our production, but haven't gotten a lot out. Looks like we got bats and archers. Archers are going to be super, uh, super annoying given how close the mist is. We're probably just going to have to pick off the archers every every turn. We certainly reduce their accuracy, but the likelihood of them missing the wall is pretty low. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend the mana there. This may also be the night that we meet our maker. I will uh I will cop to that. We we probably need the seer, if I'm being honest. But every once in a while, we have to learn the lesson of greed is good until it is not. Let's see. He'll walk in slowly, and that's fine. Can you slot actions? We'll get you going over here. All right, good enough for that turn. But yeah, our walls are gonna get shredded thanks to uh, thanks to the archers. And the bats are gonna mean that we're gonna have to do some really awkward like jumping around and stuff. Keep poking the bats, just in hopes that, I mean, are we gonna? Don't think we wanna waste that right now. Having a hard time getting back and forth on that side, for sure. Okay, if I take one more step out, we can snipe that guy. Maybe time for watchtowers? Could be... Could be a reasonable thought. Yeah, I, I actually, I think, I think watchtowers could be really good. I'm just. I'm dying a slow death to these archers, though, I will say.
Hard, yeah, like, a watchtower here even would be really good, because it would give me a way to get out that isn't, I guess, this jump here. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. Now, this is, this is a bit of a something... Ugh, I, I don't like that I'm... I'm, I'm out of movement. So I, I had to use a bit more there. So I could get back behind. This, this bat, though, is really not great. Now it's it's under control now. Oh, that guy's gonna take a bit. Never mind. We're just gonna accept that we're gonna take some hits from the wall, and I'm gonna focus on getting rid of some of the archers. Is it possible to clear the game without move points and with no ballista except chalice boss teleports? It's an interesting question. Hey, uh, VJ, how's it going? Uh, there's there's always more uh, more challenge runs to be uh, to be had for sure. This one we we did a we did a challenge that was kind of like that, Dennis, that uh, that I referred to as the floor is lava challenge, where I uh, I didn't allow my heroes to leave the the confines of the haven. Not exactly the same. I, I will grant you, but had some similar, uh, some similar vibes to it. Gosh, you know what I miss? I miss ballistas. <laughs> I miss them so bad. jump over and out and see what we're working with. This this side is going really well, I will say. Now we're a little we're a little sad that we don't have actually I think I can Can I jump back in from here? Wait, there is a spot here. Why can't I jump into it? There's a corpse there. Ah, disaster. All right. That means we're not going to be able to utilize our axe here. That's really funny that there's a corpse right there. Not ha ha funny, but but also slightly ha ha funny. We only have two move left, so we're gonna need to get back inside.
If the catapults were square, they'd be good here. Uh, so... Do you have something against the Sledgehammer skill 2? Mega Stomp? Or, or follow-up? I like follow-up. In this case, it doesn't grant vision, so I can't use it to get out into the into the fray, which is the reason I haven't been using it here. No, I don't have any... Uh, I actually really love it as a skill. Uh, I think it's I think it's great. All right, I guess. Let's see if we can get done with those. All right. Good effort. Those archers are really starting to to steam to steam me a little bit here. The the mana situation is a little off. We may need to replace some heroes. I could come out here. I think I, I think I will do that. Yeah, we can. Uh, are we gonna take? We might take some hits there, but that's okay. Yeah. So, so with follow, I guess technically I could get in here, but I don't actually have a, a an attack that will secure a kill. So, don't think that's the that's the play here. Just not not enough oomph. These guys have a lot of work. <laughs> they luckily, if you dismiss them with all their gear on, they just uh, they just put it in the stash anyways. But wow, we just did no work on the side. This is actually we're gonna have we're gonna have a bad time here. I'm pretty sure because uh, my my points of egress are going away. I think I think we're gonna lose most of, if not all, of our walls. This will be a real testament to how good potentially uh, walls are if if we don't end up losing most of them. Probably the wrong target to pick there. But, like, I'm just... I'm ever-increasingly not able to get out of my base. Which is... Not a fun time. Okay, well... Those bats are jerks. Oh, you made it to there? No! That's bad. We're gonna have a really hard time getting around to get this bat. Call that good enough. Uh, now let's see. Let's make sure that these bats get get roasted. Shouldn't have targeted him. The block made that less effective. I think it takes three to kill these guys, so I'm just going to put three in now. Okay. 
Good thing there's no annoying elites. Right o. Looks like a pretty good set of kills. We're, we're protected here, so we can do that. You're all done. You have... Let's, I want a little bit of damage control in this bat. I don't want anybody else poking our... Uh, poking our stuff. All right. We got a lot of archers in the back, uh, the back center here that need to be dealt with. I gotta say, reinforced walls are uh, are doing a bit of work. Like I, I don't think it's good enough, but. But maybe with some watchtowers so that we don't have to keep getting out of our base, we'd be good. One hit point, you say. Hmm. Don't love that that guy is still coming in. Slow him down. Alright, now we haven't done anything over here, so... That went, that was a short turn. <laughs> there should definitely be more ways to gain vision. I agree with that statement, Abigail. It would, that would be very interesting. I would definitely take a trinket that generated AP. You are... Edlin is basically worthless at this point. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever been this surrounded. You can use any skill with follow or maneuver to get out, like sword dash or sledgehammer, but yeah, the only way to get in is to be next to it. Yeah. Yep. Let's see if we can get those two sorted out. Almost. Oh, what a absolute horror show we have here.
This guy having one hit point left was a bit of a... Bit of an unfortunate one. All right, and then you are basically worthless. You're gonna kill like one person over here. Well, at least you took a little bit off the gate. We're, we're hanging in. Omen of the Outpost or Omen of Trapper to activate Nuclear Barricade? <laughs> Good old Nuclear Barricade, what can I say? That would certainly make uh, barricades more interesting. What can I say? Let's see. I think we do. I think we do one slow death just to activate hip shots. Oh, I should have known that wasn't gonna. But yeah, I don't think I've ever had the enemies wrapping this far around on any run that I have ever had the pleasure of muddling my way through. Soon we'll get some gear, and things will get easier. Maybe. Or or we might just lose in the meantime. But yeah, outpost I can't remember which one outpost is. I would I would consider for this run taking the one that increases uh increases uh wall power. I could certainly see the value in it. And actually, let's we're, oh, let's move over this way. You cannot lose to panic, no. Except that it can starve you of resources. Man, all right, we did lose a wall over here, which is a shame, but. How did this wall get lost? It feels like that wall should not have been uh, on the chopping block. Yeah, so, so effectively, one could argue that you can lose to panic by, conceptually, by doing a bad job managing panic and not getting enough resources. That would be the, but it, you would not technically lose to panic itself. That went fast. My poor walls. How much of a, how much more do you, how much more resources do you lose from having to basically fully repair a wall versus having to? Let's see if I if I jab you. 
Like, is it significantly more expensive? We'll have to compare the cost of repairing versus that. By the way, that was a fantastic, stunning entrance. Like, is it is it significantly worse to lose a a wall versus it being almost destroyed? I guess is the the question that I'm failing to articulate. I, I may have already done that by accident, Abigail. <laughs> but if, if we combined it with enough other things, then yeah, I, I could see it. I could see it working. Now let's see, can I get, I can get you, all right. And we're not going to get him sorted out. Everybody else is stunned. Imagine if Panic had a chance to induce heart attacks. All right, now we're now we're mixing our darkest dungeon with our. Uh, with our with our last spell. This is seeming very dangerous. Right. Cheaper to repair, the cost to rebuild is just a multiple of the cost to build. Then multiplied again by the proportion of missing health. But what that multiple is makes repairing cheaper. Okay, cool. That's that's what I that's what I've always assumed. We may want to build scav camps. That's a that's a crazy statement. Yeah, so let's see. So this one is at 45 and the repair is 16 whereas it's basically it looks like it's a half multiplier, give or take. Now, do we have to start going gear? I think we need to greed one more night. And that's going to be a little cringy, but I think we need to do it. And greed means taking uh, taking the golden materials, not the other stuff. And then here, all right, cash flow, cash flow acquired. I think I just clicked the repair button. I hate to do it, but. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna click through every single thing. It's just too painful. Let's see, we'll try to make sure that stuff like that is done and that is done. Alright. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I still think that I'm going to I'm going to pivot over to taking gear, but let's see. I think I want do I want I want one more production building. My last one I don't need an alchemist. Another jeweler is is usually pretty solid, but I hate taking the specific weapon types, but let's grab uh let's grab a Let's grab a blacksmith. So we have some melee weapons coming in. We'll level up once. And maybe we just need, I'm kind of thinking we just need a fourth person and that's better than, than any other options. Also they cost 60 at this difficulty. How rude. All right, so nobody's got, nobody's got an AP. Mercenary is pretty decent. I don't I, I'm not sure we're doing watchtowers. Yeah, I, I wasn't I wasn't planning to do it anyways, though, in Lustrous. As as nice as it would be, I I don't think we can uh 
we can swing it. Mercenary and Determined seems good enough. Okay. Nice Poison Staff feels good. The minus skill range on that feels a little bad. That looks like a roll, although the Fey Cape is, is all right. Range damage pants. That's fine. 13% XP. Hurrah. Ooh, AP shield feels nice. Ah, uh, we have destroyed stuff? Or did I just reroll and get the same stuff? No, I did not. Well, this certainly uh, doesn't have much of a downside. <laughs> See, we'll slap that there. Mana's a slight problem still. Who has the hand crossbow? I'll give you that. You can take that. You can take bees. Might as well slap that there. Anybody else got an offhand? Sure. Slight upgrade there. And then who wants this? Swift boots can go away. <laughs> XP gain. We are saved. We are saved. All right. So let's see. Walls are basically fully. Archers. Archers was a bad draw last time. I don't want to. I don't want to sleep on the fact that archers were a, a bit of a bad draw. I think it's time to start getting some AP potions. That was, that was a nice pair of pants, but it was too expensive. I'm eyeing this offhand crossbow with accuracy and resistance reduction on it is decent, but I don't think we can afford it. Your Andre is not going to be doing great this turn. And in fact, to that end, let's make them. Oh, wait, were you a shaman, Edlin? We picked up someone that was a shaman, didn't we? Nope. I guess I decided not to. All right. So that means you're going to have more mana to toss out bees. So we'll give you this stuff. And Edlin is going to continue to be like the worst hero in the history of the world. Uh, let's see. That can go there. Okay. It still costs 60. Which we're we're not at the point where I'm feeling like super flush with cash flow. So it's still a little rough. So let's see. So Lola, I'm gonna put you up here with our new poison person. Actually, I, I think our stunner is doing really good work. So we'll go we'll go poison that that all right that looks reasonable so anything else of interest here the, the offhand crossbow was slightly titillating but not really teleportation scrolls the mana is probably better served on offensive stuff if i'm being honest these Ronin boots are pretty decent. I think I have someone who has just completely terrible pants. You lose a little bit of movement. Our movement is is a, has seen better days. All right. Okay, this is going to be interesting. The, the the no seer wrinkle to this, we might want to reconsider next tomorrow night, but right now our our 
Workers are so critical. 